What's up, you guys? I uh, peeped in, well, peeped out on my turtles. I'm trying to get this situated for you guys. I peeped out on my turtles. And uh, I seen they had a couple of them on the left. On the little log. They probably run once I walk up. I see a see two of them. One of the painted turtles and a big albino. I don't want to walk up too close because they are definitely gonna jump in like just like that. But they jumped in to come to the glass because they want me to feed them. See? Just want me to feed them, that's all. There's my big albino. Getting some sunbathing, and it is hot out here. Speaking of it is hot out here, I have some, got some bad news. I had one of my turtles, my biggest turtle I had, my river cooler that I call Lil Feed. I had a ticket out of here this morning and uh, brought it in the kitchen, cleaned the shell, you know, left it in the water or whatever. My wife wanted, you know, put some meat up in the zinc, throw some meat out, so I took it out, came put it outside, up in this tank here. Go inside. I don't remember exactly what I did when I went inside. But I come back out. And he's dead. He or she is dead. It is extremely hot out here. And I feel so bad. <clears throat> it happens so fast. It's so hot out here. That's why I keep coming out checking on them. Making sure they're good. As you can see, they still swimming around. They don't really have much shade. They have that little part there, but they all can't fit up in there. What if all of them decide to, you know, go in for some shade? They all can't fit up in there. They do have these plants that they can hide underneath, but there's still not enough shade. So, but yeah, my, my river cooler has passed away. I try to go put in some water and try to see if it'll move or come back. But it's gone. I feel so bad. Now I can honestly just say this is my fault. This is my fault. That's sad. It saddens me. It really does. I was, I'm gonna wait till my son comes so I can let him see it. But yeah, that happened. Uh, uh I don't know what to say. Besides, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, just make sure I don't make that same mistake again. It is hot out here. I think the last I checked it was 94 degrees. That happened so fast, you guys. It happened so fast. I feel so bad. Y'all been following me. That was one of the turtles that was given to me at my job. It was found and given to me. It was the size of a quarter, if not smaller. But I raised it to be as big as it is now. And uh it's gone. It's gone. I'ma feed these guys. I'ma feed these guys and uh let y'all see. Now they all not gonna stay in here, of course. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, when I put them in here this morning, after I cleaned this out, put them in here this morning, I fed them. Let 
Look at this one. Look. No food there. The two albinos in the back. And I just had, I just been out here a minute and my, uh, it's so hot out here, my blood worms are frosting already. Y'all can see they, they're getting their food in. Of course they're going to fight and see who's become dominant. That's the Eastern Painted Turtle. The albino at the bottom. I can see it got a little, it got some down there, so I'm good. It's eating. That's all I've been worrying about, really. My albinos eating. I've been making sure, wanting to make sure that they eat something because of their conditions. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. All right, you guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of that situation. Uh, I feel like a bad turtle on them. I've had turtles die before, but not from something that I've done. It was either something that I didn't know what happened, or uh, they had some some fighting or something going on in the tank. But nothing like this. Hi, right, you guys. I'm out.